What's up gamers, it's your boy Luke. Welcome back to another episode of The Scoop where we will go over all of the hottest gaming news. First up, Microsoft has announced that they will acquire Bethesda. According to CNBC, Microsoft will pay $7.5 billion in order to acquire the gaming studio. Further, Microsoft has stated that they hope to make exclusive games for the Xbox Series X. I just hope that Microsoft manages Bethesda better than they do Windows 10. However, gamers do have reason to be hopeful. Under Microsoft's ownership, Minecraft has been more successful than ever. In the years since Mojang's acquisition, new features and cross-platform play have been added. No matter what happens, one thing we can be sure of is that Microsoft is willing to spend big to put themselves ahead in the console war. GTA 5 Online recently received a useful update thanks to the modder Toast. He successfully fixed the long load times that have been plaguing GTA Online on the PC. Rockstar Games accepted his advice and implemented his code into GTA 5. It is slightly surprising that Rockstar lacks the ability to fix their own game. It seems that their ability to code has atrophied over time. There has not been a new GTA game in the last 8 years, yet Rockstar continues to make money from GTA 5 while not producing anything new or better. If the technology of today we could have VR GTA, 4K GTA, however Rockstar chooses not to expand and continues to live off of GTA 5. Returning to Microsoft, it has been announced that HDR support is coming to Xbox Series X consoles. Microsoft has promised better color performance across a wide variety of games, but for now, support is limited to Gears of War 5, Halo The Master Chief Collection, and Wreckfest. However, Microsoft has promised more titles will be supported in the future. In other news, a sealed copy of Super Mario Bros. for the NES is poised to sell for over $300,000 in an online auction. Previously, a similar cartridge sold for over $100,000. According to Nintendo Life, over 40.24 million copies of Super Mario Bros. were manufactured. However, it is rare to find one that is sealed and in like new condition. Rare finds like this make you think, I should have kept my cards, games, t-shirts. However, the value of collectible items is directly caused by their destruction. If many sealed copies of Super Mario Bros. had been stashed away or buried like a pirate's treasure, they would now be close to worthless. People were able to gain much more in enjoyment from using copies of Super Mario Bros. than anyone ever got from selling them. Further, our needs should dictate what we keep around us, not wistful speculation. Anyways, what do you think? Will Bethesda continue to make well-received games? Do you want to see GTA 6? Have you used HDR on the Xbox Series X? Tweet me at ZTV Goofing Off using hashtag TheScoop. See you later!